I chose Great Oaks because I felt like it would be a good experience for me. I feel more determined than I was at Harrison because at Harrison I didn't really care. It was just school. But here it's more like a more like a job for me, more like a um, more like a passion than a, just doing schoolwork. I've always known that I wanted to work in the healthcare field. Um, my junior year of high school, I had the opportunity to come to Laurel Oaks and I went through the health tech program. I was able to get my STNA my junior year. Um, my senior year, um, I had turned 18 and so I applied for a job at the hospital and I started working in the progressive care units. I ended up switching over to the emergency room. Um, after I graduated, they offered me a full-time job and I worked as an ER tech. Um, while I went through nursing school, the hospital helped to pay for, um, pay for my schooling to get me through nursing school. And after I finished nursing school and passed my boards, I started as a registered nurse in the emergency room. And I don't know that I would have gotten as far as I did as quickly if I had not gotten my start here at Laurel Oaks. So it helped me to fast track my career and I got a lot of great opportunities. Um, health technology here at Laurel Oaks, people um, wonder what is that? What's it all about? So I talk about, you know, they get their STNA license, state tested nursing assistant. Well, what is that? Well, you can work in a nursing home. Some hospitals will allow you to work there, but it's much more than that. So beginning of your senior year, you'll take and study and test for patient care technician, your PCT, which will allow you to be an aide in a hospital. So I always talk to students, you ever been in the hospital before? Um, been in there or seen somebody spent the night? You know, the big whiteboard on the wall. Uh, the, they come in and tell you, who's going to take care of you tonight? Well, that PCT or the PCA or, the, or they'll call them a CNA, whatever those are, that's your patient care. You're able to do that right there while you're still in high school. You could get hired to work in a hospital. Then you get to specialize. You can choose medical assisting or phlebotomy. Um, and once again, if you spend some time in a hospital, someone that comes in and draws your blood, that's your phlebotomist. So there's a lot more opportunities in health technology than just your STNA license. So a lot of times parents will ask me questions about, well, is this gonna prepare them for college? You know, are they gonna be ready to go to college if they come there? What are they gonna take? Well, your academic side, when you're taking health technology, is exactly what you would take at the high school, except it's gonna specialize now and you're gonna take your chemistry, you're gonna take your anatomy, you could even take your CCP, your college credit classes while you're here to get those under, under your belt and out of the way you wanted to pay for in college. So well, I got accepted into um, Christ College of Nursing, so um, I'm going to go there and then um, I'm going to hopefully get a job there. My plans after graduation are to go to Cincinnati State for nursing and then after that I want to become a remote diabetic educator and travel at the same time. There's so many opportunities in healthcare. Um, you will never not be able to find a job. And it's not just as a nursing assistant or as a, um, as a phlebotomist, but it can really help give you that foundation um, to become a nurse, to become a, um, a physician's assistant, or um, even a physician. And coming here will help you to, um, you'll be able to explore all of those career pathways in the healthcare field and find where your niche is and what your passions are.